So we're going to go over pretty much the application itself to give you an insight into what it does and how it works. If you wanted to find more about this application, you can head over to Toolfinder and type Timestripe and everything will come up that you need to know if we didn't cover it in this video. So Timestripe is a little bit different. It presents itself as a goal planner and really is just a task management application, but it thinks in the way of goals versus just what you need to do. And it has this primary feature called Horizons. And you can see here, this is my Horizons. It's got everything from today's date all the way over to life. So I could have anything like kick a football to become World Cup winner and beat Messi as a life goal. But it gives you an idea of the perspectives, Horizons that are coming up on the future. You can scrubble through a week ahead. You can move along and you can see your month ahead as well. And it's a great way to be able to see a window into planning for the future. So a lot of people are tending to like this because this application is, I guess, a little bit in different because it thinks more of a, okay, I'm actually trying to achieve some objectives here. How do I get there faster? You can just revert it to a day view and you can see here that they do some great tutorials, but you can go ahead and add um, the task and uh, some notes and links and images below attachments and you can almost time block using this um, day view which is almost like a week view really but this is also a week planner view that you may traditionally see in applications like to do and sun summer as well and a month view as well for your more holistic goals but this all correlates into horizons in which you can modify as well here by adding quarters and decades and you get the picture you can really go granular with where you want to go in the future. Some people might not like this, might be too intense. Uh, it might be really intense, um, but you can see the picture that they're trying to paint. Down here, you've got things called boards and you'll know boards because they're essentially just little uh, columns that you can essentially start making your own sort of structure on. So here you can do my projects and drag them across. These won't appear inside a planner unless you give them correlated dates. So if I wanted to schedule that, then I can schedule it and it would then come inside of my planner. But you can use lots of different boards and they have a wide variety of them, including databases, home travel. These can be just lists and ways to build up. You know, I really like this concept as well, like, okay, income expenditure, loans, etc. And you can really, you can do sharing using it as a template, liking, liking it, etc. And you can knock that around as well. So it's a really unique approach to lists, and I think it's definitely something quite nice. They have something else called uh, climbs. So essentially, if I was like, okay, I want to do sleep better, <laughs> then this is a 12-day climb that you can do uh, that's been created by the user Dalla. I, I have a tricky surname, and I don't want to try <laughs> and butcher this one. <laughs> but essentially, if I wanted to start this one, uh, you can see that it appears here, and you can see the climb settings. So... Essentially, it's just populating uh, all of this now inside of my uh, my account, which is great because I can see my climbs and I can see all of the recommended advice over the next 12 days that I should follow. So you can do that with a wide variety of climbs as well. And it's a good way to get you started. You could try a mindfulness one, more productivity one, a fitness one, etc. But it's quite a, a cool structure. Now, there is a free plan to Time Stripe, and this is the basic plan and it gives you five per five per horizon, five goals per horizon, 10 per board list, three custom boards. So you'll probably hit a limit quite fast. Um, goals are tasks, essentially. So if I have, say, more than five here, I'm likely to run out. Um, and same with images. Uh, there are some limitations to images. But it does have a fair amount of access to other good features like the clock, the insights, which I'll show you in a moment. The pro account, which I'll talk about later, is $5 per month if billed annually. But if you want a five-year plan, there's a £300 five-year plan or a $9 per month. So it's pretty high on the comparing this to something like, say, Todoist. It's going to be a lot different in terms of pricing. But this is a different approach. You've got board galleries. Board galleries is a great way to see what other people are using their board structures for, which you can copy. So again, uh, some people have used a very visuals one as well. Now, I've talked about climbs, but there is a calendar, which is a more structured view of your year. And this is really great. What Timestripe are phenomenal at, at being able to represent uh, visuals in a way that makes you feel like time is perspective. They have a great launch video, which actually overviews this. But you can see 
this looks like my year. I'm, I'm pretty much almost coming up to two thirds of the year done, but I can actually see, okay, I've got this in mind. And you can reflect on tasks that you've done. There you go. Score that goal in the fiver side. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Uh, but you can see the future thinking aspects that you've got here as well. You can go back to dates as well. If you had a certain date in mind, I could go back to my birth somewhere in this week and I could add a relevant, no, I'm joking, but you can really look back if you did want to, if you use this over a progressive amount of time. So the overview is a interesting perspective, again, another perspective one, but this is how old I am. Did I say that I'm, I did I say that I'm 43 years old? Ah, I think I might have, I don't know why I would have said that. It assumed I'm 43 years old. I don't think I've ever added the information. But anyway, you can change the setting to personalize the experience. I guess it's just doing that from uh, what's on there. But it gives you an idea of like things like if I start writing a page today, 25 pages will be written by, by this time, etc. So you, you you get like, it's just a nice little visualizer. And the same with the clock, like it's exactly when you're born. It's sort of like a nice little uh, screensaver. Insights as well is a way to journal, like for example, where do I want to be in the next three years? And it will correlate it to three years in time. So these are like almost prompts that you would see inside of a journaling app. Uh, settings are pretty simple. You get light mode, dark mode, and there is a bunch of settings that allow you to modify information about what you want to see. Integrations with Google Calendar and Apple Calendar. Set up on mobile, they only have an app store apps and a web app at the moment. There is a Mac app, but I don't think it's an official one. Smaller things, you can do filtering based on horizon board status and all that jazz. And you can even add a cover to your horizons, which is much more, much lovelier on, on the old on the old uh, uh, mobile devices, I believe. So this gives you a lot more insight into that. Ah, uh, there we go. You can see it here, but it's only when you are, there you go. So it's only when you are sort of past this, which really gives it an opportunity. So it's really interesting, this application, who I recommend it best for, probably those who are looking more holistical in their approach to their management of tasks and those who want something a little bit different. It's got great time blocking. I think that's one of the features that a lot of people do like. And I think the future is interesting for Time Stripe as an application itself, something very different that's on the market. It's really well built. That's one thing I'll also say. The application is fast, fluid from when I've used it. And it has been going for a few years now, which is good news. Premium is a little bit high, but again, if you're willing to pay for something that's a little bit more planner-like in a, in a different take on productivity, then this could be your app. So that was an overview of Timestroke. Thank you so much for joining us. Do subscribe. We've got plenty more and help you find the perfect productivity app. So do make sure to jump over to Toolfinder and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you, guys. Cheerio.